welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a celebrity inspired makeup look. This is the Kim Kardashian at the Oscars 2020 makeup tutorial. Now, I'm actually kind of impressed with myself, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, if you want to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. Hello, so as you can see from the title, I'm going to be recreating Kim Kardashian's Oscar 2020 makeup look. I've sort of done my hair already. I just used the Mermaid Curler from Mark Hill, um, but we're gonna wet it and make it look really nice after the makeup. So the first thing I wanna do is my eyebrows. I am gonna show you how I do my eyebrows. I have just wet this little bar of soap and I'm just gonna take a spoolie and I'm gonna rub it in the soap. Like so. There's a nice, I don't know, can you see? So there's like a nice amount of the spoolie. And then we're just going to brush through our brows and pushing the hairs up. Now, because this is a transparent soap, you're not gonna get any nasty gunk in your face. Let me just zoom you in quick. Ooh. There we go. So I'm literally just pushing the product through my brows. I don't know, can you see? There we go. And then I'm just gonna take my micro brow pencil and I'm just gonna follow the line ever so softly and start to outline my brows. Looking at the photo, she's got quite a prominent arch, so I have tried to be as curvy as I can. And then at the front, I'm literally just going to do light strokes at the front. So I'm quickly just gonna like zoom through and do the other one, and then we can move on to eyes. So now that we have done brows, I'm now gonna move on to eyes. Now, I was so excited when I saw this eye look. I think, a really nice smoky wing is so in at the minute. So I'm just gonna quickly do my base. I am just gonna use the Rumor 02 from P. Louise. The reason why I'm using this color is because I don't actually have any fake tan on at the minute because my eczema is literally at its worst. We love that for her. That's why I've got a roll neck on because it's just not great. And I have a breakout all around my mouth, all around my nose. We love that. So I'm just gonna take a flat shader brush and carve out my brows. Okay, so I am gonna do one eye on camera and then I'm just gonna quickly shoot off and do the other one off camera. So I am gonna be using the James Charles Artistry palette today. I would show you, but I've got a shitload of stuff over it. So, I am just going to, again, I'll probably put a little picture up here of the palette and then like a little stamp on what color I use. So from the photo, you can see that obviously like the main kind of attraction on the eye is the really smoky like winged eyeliner. So I'm only gonna be using about two, maybe three colors, like eye eyeshadow wise. So, so I'm just gonna take the Sigma Diffuse Crease Brush in E38. It's really annoying that these colors don't have names, but I'm just gonna take a warm brown and I'm just gonna run it through my crease. And then just with a fluffy brush, this is just the um, Tapered Blending Brush E40 from Sigma. And I'm gonna take this kind of like nudie color and I'm just going to blend the two together. So just with that, I'm sort of gonna do like a wash over the eyelid with um, a brush. So I'm just gonna take the tapered blending brush from Sigma, which is the E40, and I'm almost gonna, it's almost like a cool brown. It's like an earthy brown. And I'm just gonna run that over the lid. Like, 
so now that I've kind of got like the base colour down, we're now going to move on to like the eyeliner, which I feel like is the whole reason behind the look. So I'm just going to take the NYX Professional Epic Ink Liner. Now this colour is actually in brown, just because I want to map out where I want my eyeliner to go. And then we'll set it with a black eyeshadow. So it starts off like in the corner which I'm not really used to, I'm not gonna lie. And it's quite thick as well. So literally, how I tend to do my eyeliner is I do a big line like that and then from the bottom, flick it up. And then from the flick, not from the very top of the flick because you do want it to fade out, but just with the pen connect it like that and then literally just colour and tighten up the edges so it's a bit like that I'm just going to take a really small detailed brush this is just a natural haired one from the Jacqueline collection and I'm really gonna pack that black on the top So not only does it set the eyeliner, it makes it look super black. And then just with that shadow, not going back into the pan, but with just the excess product, I'm just gonna smoke the winged eyeliner out. Just a bit like that. Don't worry so much about the bottom because we are gonna clean that up. Just with a makeup wipe, like I always do in every video, just get your nail and just little strokes to just tighten that wing up. What I tend to do is once I've done my wing I then tend to work around the wing. Just going back in with my blending brushes I'm just going to make sure that they all kind of like come together. So I'm just going to use that like earthy brown again and kind of connect the wing so it all kind of like seamlessly blends together. And then just with the bigger blending brush of the three, just blend the line, you know, blend the top line together so it doesn't look as prominent. Now that I have done the other eye off camera, I'm just gonna quickly move over to base. So in the photo, she looks quite glowy, but she's also quite matte. So I definitely think putting a illuminating base on underneath and then, you know, not really going as, hard with the highlighter if that makes sense so because i haven't got any fake tan on i am actually going to mix quite a lot of products together so i'm first just going to put my mac strobe cream this is in the golden light one i think and i'm just going to put this all over my face this is a really nice base if you want to get like that glow from within just got to pin my hair back This is really nice because it's got the consistency of a moisturiser and it's super hydrating on my skin. For foundation, I'm going to mix the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser and the NYX Born To Glow Foundation. I'm hoping these are going to look really nice together, but we'll soon find out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a blob of each onto the top of my Laura Mercier. Hmm, they're not that different in colour to be honest. It's kind of good though because if it's too dark then I can just take it down my neck a bit. So as we kind of want like a glowy foundation situation I'm just going to take my stippling brush and I'm just going to take both products I'm going to take my bigger one actually
Now I haven't actually used the Born to Glow foundation yet so I'm super excited to find out whether it works or is nice or not. I quite like the sheer coverage it's giving me. You know it's certainly buildable which I like. I really like in a foundation. I'm just gonna have to take it down my neck a bit but not too much but you can see how bad my eczema is at the minute so I'm just gonna cover that up. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be honest this is a very sheer situation we've got going on which if my skin was in good condition I would really like but there are a few spots around my chin up here I hasn't really covered them up but overall it's actually quite nice mixing the two together I am actually just going to use my base in shade 4 and just cover my spots up because I mean that's not really a sentence I get to say often which I'm really pleased about but I've just got so many they all just came at once which is normally the case to be honest right now that I've sorted my spots out this honestly this base is so versatile like I use it as an eyeshadow base I use it to cover my spots up if I haven't recommended it enough already at this point you should definitely go and get it okay so I mean Kim's skin looks phenomenal like it really it really does so I am going to probably use quite a lot of powders this time I am before I do powders I am just going to quickly use my Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter if I can get it open and I'm just going to place it mainly kind of like on the high cheek high points of my cheeks because she's got a little bit of glow there and then oh god not on the chin we don't want to highlight that it's kind of I don't know it's kind of got like that soft glow so I'm going to do quite a lot of on my cheeks so you can kind of see it from all angles and then I'm just going to use my finger to blend these in it's a it's a really good product to use with your fingers because the heat off your fingers melts into your skin quicker so I'm going to quickly just take my stippling brush and I'm just gonna literally just press the product in but then also kind of mix it into my foundation now that I'm happy with my base we're now going to move on to powders so I'm not going to lie, it looks like a hula moment, so I think I'm going to have to use hula. So just out of the Cheek Leader palette, I'm just going to take my Sigma contour brush, which is just an angled brush, and I'm just going to dip into hula, and I'm going to kind of put it on my cheeks, but like not kind of, not really focusing it anywhere, because it looks really blended out, it looks really natural. <gasps> nearly dropped from the floor then with a big brush as well I'm just going to kind of make sure it's not all in one place so it's really natural and really it's making her skin look like skin which is what I really like and then just again on the other side I, I don't think it's really picking up on camera how sheer this foundation is but I promise you it is and then I'm just gonna do the tops of my forehead because she always seems to contour the top of her forehead there we go and then just with my blush brush She's almost, she's almost kind of contoured with her blush. So I'm just going to go in with Coralista and just put it where I would contour. So now I'm just going to quickly just put a little bit of concealer under my eyes because we are now going to do lower lash line. I am actually going to take the base again and I'm not going to bring it down as far because although it looks like she's got concealer on it's kind of really the blush that has taken over so I'm literally just gonna put it there and then I'm just gonna use my finger again 
because although she, it although she's got makeup on it doesn't look like she's got makeup on so that's the kind of vibe I'm trying to follow I'm gonna take my P Louise base in black what we're gonna do again just kind of like put it on the back of somewhere I'm just gonna take my super thin angled brush from Sigma and I'm just going to map it out underneath my eye so as you can see I've done it really really thin and then I'm just going to press it into my waterline as well so then with that very precisely I'm then going to set that with a black eyeshadow so it doesn't move and then with that brush I'm just going to take that black and I'm going to smoke it out and then just to repeat again on the same side now that that is all done I'm going to quickly stick on a pair of eyelashes now in the photo she doesn't look to have really big long eyelashes so these ones are just the Ardell Demi Wispies and I'm going to put them on and then I'm just going to layer on the mascara to make them look fuller now that the eyes are done we're now just going to move on to lips so she's got quite like a she's got a very peachy nude on so just to line my lips I'm just going to take the Primark lip liner in the shade Toast And I'm almost like colouring that in. And then just with the liquid lipstick, I'm just going to put little bits. And kind of mix the two together. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of fortune cookie in the middle and like patting it in so it kind of gives it that more kind of makes it look more satin than the matte right now that the makeup is done we're now going to sort the hair out and then we're going to see what it looks like so now that i have soaked my hair i don't know whether this actually looks good or whether i just look like i've just been caught in the rain but this is the finished look i hope you enjoyed it and if you want to see some more like celebrity transformations inspired looks then just let me know and as always like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video